Hey guys, welcome back to the Real Tea with the A Team. And just like the market, we're changing things up. And we are back. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, but in this video, we're going to be talking about the market shift. It's finally here. We've been waiting for this for quite some time, honestly. And we saw it coming. I mean, a lot of fun stuff to talk, a lot of big things to talk about. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Let's talk about the market shift. So what is what is a market shift? Well, the last couple of years have been extremely overwhelming. Sellers were selling everything that they would put um, in the market with multiple offers, cash offers, insane bidding wars. I mean, it was insane. Um, those of, anybody who had a house to sell, 99% of the time would sell. Yeah, so actually, we kind of needed this shift because the market in the past two years has been anything but normal. You had an, um, a shortage of inventory, you had dirt cheap interest rates, and on top of that, you had an influx of people. So of course, the market was insane. So now that um, things are changing, the shift is happening. Yeah, so the shift basically means that it's slowly transitioning from a seller's market into a normal market. It is not going to be an aggressive buyer's market. I feel like it's going to be more of a stabilized, normal market. Because like Gabby said, it was not normal. It is not normal to buy a house at 2% interest. It is not normal to get 50 offers in a home. It is not normal to get $100,000 above asking. It is not normal to get almost $100,000 in appreciation each year, you know, from like 2018, to, 2018 till now. It's insane what has been going on in the market. And this is what's happening now. Now we're shifting from something completely abnormal to a normal market. So what are we seeing now? We're seeing homes stay in the market a little longer. Yeah, so your home is no longer going to be selling in the first day or before it ever hits the market. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort, presentation. You might have to do repairs. And it's going to probably take 30 to 45 days for your home to sell. Correct. We're going back to... The normal things that we didn't even, I mean, I haven't even heard the word concessions in years, you know. I haven't heard Benzer. <laughs> you know, and now we're seeing these words come out again, you know. So it's it's crazy. So if you were one of those agents who were just chilling because making good money because business was so good, well, guess what? Well, you're going to have to put a little more effort to be able to help your clients maximize their potential. And as buyers, you know, you really have to help them in going back to basically educate them completely and also help them get a good deal because we we all know as buyers we all want a good deal and this is the time to kind of come back and maximize your potential so for those of you who couldn't get into a home in the last couple of years well guess what now you have that opportunity yes we have higher interest rates which we will go in, in into a bit but let me kind of explain you know how everything is it's changing you know and the change is happening very very fast I, I started it's crazy fast <laughs> I started real estate when the market crashed back in 2000 Eight. So I started in the real estate when we were already on the bottom and I saw what caused the market to crash, which was the financial crisis, you know, predatory lending, all that stuff. I'm not going to get into it, at least not in this video. Um, but I saw how rapidly things changed and I want to tell Gabby, Gabby, you know, things change very rapidly. And Gabby, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we saw it, we're very educated, we know, but to kind of see it changing it's in, in a matter of, in a matter of weeks, it's insane because let me tell you, back in May we had about four thousand listings on the MLS. In a matter of thirty days, we tripled. Yeah, the amount of listings we went from four thousand to I believe um, fourteen thousand, twelve thousand, and now we're looking at maybe fourteen thousand homes on the MLS. Now, why I why am I saying this is going to become a normal market because I don't see the market crashing, but I do foresee a correction. A correction in, you know, those homes are no longer going to appreciate $100,000 each year, 20, 30, 40, 50% appreciation. Now we're going to go back to the normal 3% appreciation, you know, 4 or 5% appreciation per year, but not those exaggerating amounts. But why aren't the houses flying off the market now that we have more inventory? So a big factor why a lot of houses are not flying off the market is because it's no longer so cheap to, to, to borrow money. So now, uh, now that interest rates have risen, um, a lot of the purchase power that people had 
went down. A reason why that happens is because their purchase power went down now that the interest rates went up. So these people are no longer to afford more house. Um, another reason is because people are scared, you know, so people are scared about market changes and they're deciding to stop, stop buying. Yeah. People just want to wait because they think, uh, you know, recession equals a market crash. Another reason would be because institutional buyers stop buying. At least they have paused buying, um, as long as at least the ones that we worked with and they're huge buyers. So that also is the reason why the inventory is sitting on the market. So a lot of people are just scared. You know, nobody knows what's really going to happen to the market when it comes. I mean, there's so many things going on in our world right now yeah. with inflation being the highest that it's ever been. You know, homes being extremely expensive. You know, they really came out in price. Um, interest rates, you know, combine everything together. Affordability in reality is, is not always there for many, many buyers. Mm -hmm. We are still working with buyers, but the buyers that we're working with right now are currently people who are cash buyers who don't care about interest rates because it doesn't impact them whatsoever. We're working with people who are still moving from out of state and because they have bigger down payments and they need a place to live and it makes sense to buy a house versus renting because renting is still more expensive. You know, so everybody has their own situation um, and opinion of what's going on in the market. But in reality is yes, inflation is high and interest rates are higher. But in a market like this where a lot of people are stepping down, I feel like there's a lot of potential and opportunity for those who really want to buy. You know, now you don't have the competition of all these other people, like you know, institutional fighting. buyers and even investors because rates are affecting their buy boxes and affecting them to make good profits on rents. Yes. So in our opinion, in, for the future of real estate, at least in the state of Arizona, I feel like it's still going to be pretty steady, steady pretty healthy because we have a lot of things to back us, back us up, like a great economy, the workforce. And obviously, we're probably going to get trolls and everybody who's wanting the market to crash. And if it does happen, well, you know, do I want it to happen as an investor? I mean, I would make a lot of money. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now, you know, the amount of houses we can buy. I mean, people make a lot of money when things go really bad, but obviously you have to be financially ready. But at the same time, I don't want to see homeowners losing their homes. You know, yeah. I don't want to see people struggling with the economy. Like, it, it's not healthy. It's sad. I mean, I would never want, I would not want to monetize out of someone losing or being hurt financially. It's just not what we want to see. But seeing where we come from, seeing the statistics, you know, um, for example, I had somebody ask me, you know, what can we do when the foreclosures start coming in? Well, first of all, foreclosures don't really start coming in. You have to think about it. The people who bought houses from just last year alone um, to April or May of this year bought homes at a really, really cheap and affordable rate. You know, so unless they lose their job and they're completely like SOL, no then they're probably going to put their house in the market and lose it and do whatever they can, you know. But meanwhile, people are going to do whatever they can to save that house because you can't buy houses at 3 4% interest rates anymore, at least for now. And when you look at those numbers, that's still more affordable than renting, you know. Um, on top of that, um, it's completely different than what happened back in 2013. 2006 and seven, you know, it was a complete different market. Like I said, I don't want to get into it right now because it's right, you know, very passionate about it. <laughs> but another thing to remember is that with every market shift comes opportunity. It's okay to be scared. However, just be prepared for any opportunities that do come your way. So if you're able to get into a house, take opportunities of it. And I'm going to give you guys one amazing tip. Okay. If you guys are in the market right now shopping for a home, and you feel like it's getting a little bit difficult because it's unaffordable, you aren't. You now have the ability to ask for concessions. This is something that we haven't heard in years. So you even have the opportunity to ask for repairs. You don't have to overpay. You don't have to overbid, you know. As long as you're working with a realtor who knows the market and knows how to help you set up for success, you can still win in this market. And this is where I'm going to give you guys the biggest tip ever. If you guys are asking for concessions, and concessions are closing costs, you know, when you buy a house, you have closing costs, your lending costs, all of that. Make sure that you ask for those closing costs to be allocated for your interest rate. You can buy down your interest rate. That's, a, that's insane. People are now getting creative 
to make to make sure that they're winning in this market. So take advantage of it. You know, mm -hmm. if you guys have any questions about you know how to do this or any lending questions, we're not lenders. We have amazing lenders behind us. Um, anything about real estate related, reach out to us. We're just here to tell you guys that the market, it's not going to crash. Don't be afraid. You know, just, I would just say kind of just stay in your own zone. You know, don't listen to the media. And I'm huge about this. Don't go on the news because if you turn on the TV, you're going to be terrified. The world is ending. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> the world's you know, on fire. The world's on fire. The world is ending, you know, so don't just, you know, do your thing, go to work, save um, become more financially ready, you know, because if it does happen, if you're not a, a, a buyer yet, but you want to in the future, if opportunities come, you want to be ready to execute, you yes. know, work on your credit, save money. Don't go out spending a lot of money. Don't use your credit cards, you know, save money, educate yourself and you'll be okay. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. That's some um, real tea with the A team. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. And if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to us. And as always, don't forget to follow us and subscribe and let us know what topics you want to know about. Yeah, connect with us on social media. We're very active on our Instagram. So um, if you want to connect with us there, make sure you give us a follow. Bye, guys. So yeah, guys, that's kind of what's going on here in Arizona. Um, if you're not in Arizona or if you're in Arizona, you know, comment below. Let us know what you think of the market and what's happening where, where you're from. Yeah, if you're a buyer's agent or a listing agent in, in another state, we would love to know how your market is doing. And if you're the consumer, if you're a buyer or if you're someone who's looking to sell your home, you know, what are your thoughts about everything that's going on? If you guys have any questions, we would love to help you out. But most importantly, we want to know what are your thoughts on this real estate market right now.